Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're wrapping up the 2008 AP Calculus uh, free response questions, so let's take a look. Uh, apologies for the previous videos. Um, I just realized I had I have a new setup so um, on a new computer, so I, I was messing around with the aspect ratios and the screens, and I realized I had to fill the whole screen with the images and everything, and uh, it didn't look clean, too, because you guys kind of saw some of my um, the headers at the top here, but... Now uh, I think it looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. Um, so let's take a look. Let f be the function given by f of x equals ln x over x for all x greater than zero. The derivative of f is given by this. So they computed the derivative for you, even though you should have been able to do this yourself. Write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f. Okay, tangent line equation. I need to know the slope. I need y is equal to m x minus x naught plus b plus y naught. And my goal is always to simply um, uh, calculate what the slope is and what the point of intersection is. So x equals e squared. So like the point is e squared, and the y value would be ln of e squared over e squared. ln of e squared is just simply 2, so this is equal to e squared and uh, 2 over e squared. So ln of e squared is just uh, 2, because ln and e cancel, right? That's how natural log works. So these are the two values. Uh, these are my, this is my x naught and my y naught. So that's the point of intersection on, the, on, on this graph. Um, then I need to know what the slope is. m is equal to f prime at e squared. So that's 1 minus ln e squared over the x value squared. That's e squared squared. Um, ln e squared, like you said, is 2, so it's 1 minus 2 over e to the 4th, because e squared squared, I multiply these two. Uh, that's negative 1 over e to the 4th, and that's the slope. So the equation is, is y is equal to negative 1 over e to the 4, x minus e squared, plus 2 over e squared. That would be my equation. B, find the x-coordinate of the critical point of f. Determine whether this point is a relative minimum, maximum, relative maximum, or neither for the function f. Justify your answer. Um, critical point of x is when it's equal to 0 or undefined. Right? Now, 1 minus ln x over x squared. This is equal to 0 only when the top is equal to 0. 1 minus ln x equals 0, or ln x is equal to 1. Take the e to the both sides to cancel out the ln. So then I have x is equal to e to the 1. So this is one critical value. The other critical value is x equals 0. But um, x equals 0 doesn't exist on this function because when I plug in 0, it, it, it you know I can't do ln of 0 over 0. So this is not really a point that touches the function. That's why I don't, even though the derivative is undefined, it's really undefined because the function is undefined there. Um, so that's that. Now to determine whether it's a min or a max, we look at the derivatives to the left and right. So if I look at like e to the 0, e to the 1, and e squared, for example, for the different values of x, um, I know that f prime is 0 here. e to the 0 would be 1, which is just 1. Um, this would be 1 minus 0 over 1. That would be positive. e squared would be 1 minus 2 over a positive number. That would be negative. So this goes from increasing slopes to zero slope to decreasing slope. This is a relative max. Um, C, draw a line like that. The graph of the function f has exactly one point of inflection. Find the x-coordinate of this point. Points of inflection, I need to know when the second derivative is equal to zero. The second derivative I can do by um, a quotient rule, so it's x squared. The derivative of this is negative 1 over x minus 1 minus ln x times the derivative of the bottom, 2x over x to the fourth. Now, when this is 0, it's really only when the top is 0, so I can ignore kind of the bottom. So this is 0 just when this is. So this top is um, negative um, x. x squared over x is just x. Um, Distributing this as be minus 2x and then plus 2x ln x equals 0. So I can factor out an x, and um, this is minus 3. 
plus 2 ln x equals 0. Now this x is really, you know, like x equals 0 is not a point of inflection because it doesn't exist in the first. So I, so I know that x can't be 0. So I have negative 3 plus 2 ln x has to equal 0. 2 ln x has to equal 3 ln x has to equal 3 halves. So this is the point of inflection. Now I really should do a check to make sure that the second derivative changes signs here. Um, oops, that's ln x. I should finish it out and realize say e to the both sides, it's e to the 3 halves. Um, and then when I when I look at the when I look at this top part here, when I go to the left and right, like this will change signs because this will change like it's positive over here but it's like it will change signs at this point so it is a point of inflection do you find the limit x approaches 0 from the right of ln x over x okay um, when I plug in 0 ln is 0 is negative infinity wait negative infinity over 0 a positive zero. That's negative infinity, right? What's the trick here? Ln of zero. As I approach zero, ln becomes like ln does this, right? Ln goes like this. As I go from zero, this goes to negative infinity. As this goes to zero, so negative infinity, a really giant negative number divided by a really tiny positive number is a really giant negative number. So I'm pretty sure I have that right. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, minus 2 over e squared minus 1 over e to the fourth x minus e squared. Okay, good. Uh, relative maximum at x equals e. I get e? e to the 1, which is e. Um, that's e to the 3 halves, and it changes signs there. Negative in infinity or does not exist. So, hope you guys found that helpful. I will, let's see, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm not sure which videos I'm doing next, but I will see you in them. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.